Hey guys, this is Sishko Biology. Today we are going to learn chapter 9 nutrition and the human digestive system. Alright, so as most of you already know that there are a ton of stuff that need to memorize in this chapter, especially the enzyme reaction that happen in our mouth, in our stomach, in our small intestine or duodenum. But no worries, today I'm going to teach you the easiest ways to memorize all this enzyme reaction. The only way to do this is to put all the information into one single table. So make sure you have the pen and your paper with you right now. Complete the table after me. Let's do it. The first thing you need to do is to draw out this table. So this table, it has four columns and five rows. So in the first column, we are going to write down all the organs that involve the enzyme digestion. The first organ is we have the oral cavity. The second row will be our stomach followed by duodenum. And remember, duodenum is part of the small intestine. It is the first part of the small intestine. And this part, it will receive the pancreatic juice and the bowel from the pancreas and also the gallbladder. Of course, we are not going to include the gallbladder right here because bowel is not the enzyme. So it receives the enzyme from the pancreas. And the last part will be the small intestine. Small intestine will receive the enzymes from the intestinal epithelium. All right, so that's it. So let's begin with the carbohydrate digestion. We're going to start with polysaccharide. For example, starch and glycogen. So you can get your starch from rice, you can get your starch from potato. Those are the food that consist a lot of starch. So you can see I didn't include the cellulose here because cellulose cannot be digested by our digestive system. Starch and glycogen will be digested by the protein called slivery amylase that can be found in our saliva. It will be digested into smaller polysaccharide and some of the starch will be digested into maltose. Besides that, Sometimes we'll just directly consume the disaccharide. Examples of disaccharides are sucrose or lactose. So maltose, sucrose and lactose, they will move to the stomach. Same goes to the small polysaccharide, they will go to the stomach as well. But remember, there is no carbohydrate digestion in the stomach. The food will just pass through the stomach and reach the duodenum. So once they reach the duodenum, the smaller polysaccharide will be digested by the pancreatic amylase, the enzyme that can be found in the pancreatic juice into disaccharide. For example, maltose. So this maltose followed with other disaccharides will go to the small intestine for further digestion. Right inside the small intestine, we have three types of disaccharides. Maltose, sucrose, and lactose. All these disaccharides will be digested into their respective monomer. So maltose will be digested by maltase. Sucrose will be digested by sucrase. Lactose will be digested by lactase and they will form the simplest form of the carbohydrate which are the glucose, the fructose or the galactose. So glucose, fructose and galactose, they are the simplest form of carbohydrate and they are small enough to be absorbed by the small intestine. That's it for the carbohydrates. Let's move on to the protein digestion. Now remember, there is no protein digestion occurs in our mouth. So the protein digestion will start from our stomach. Let's look at what happened to the protein in our stomach. So first of all, if we eat meat, we are actually consuming the protein. So this protein will be digested by the enzyme in the stomach called pepsin to form small polypeptide. And then this small polypeptide will go to the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. Inside the small intestine, there's one enzyme that can digest the small polypeptide, which name the trypsin. Trypsin is the enzyme that can digest small polypeptides into peptides. Then after that, these peptides will go to the small intestine and being digested by an enzyme called erepsin to form the monomer of protein, which is known as the amino acid. Alright, so that's it for the amino acid part. Let's move on to the fat digestion. Take notes that there is no fat digestion happen in our mouth. No digestion happen in our stomach. 
the first fat digestion happens in our duodenum. The fat that we consume from the food is called the fat or triglyceride. And don't forget that this fat is being emulsified by the bowel salt from our gallbladder. So this fat is in the tiny droplet condition, which is coated by the bowel salt. So the fat is being emulsified by the bowel salt to increase the surface area of the fats so that it can be easily digested by the pancreatic lipase to form fatty acid and glycerol. Remember that not all the fat will be digested in the duodenum. Some of the fat will still remain as fat and it will go to the small intestine. Right here, the fat again will be digested by the lipase that is secreted by the intestinal epithelium to form fatty acid and glycerol. So again, the fatty acid and the glycerol is the monomer of the fat. All right, there you go. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.